This is a pretty important video. This about T-Mobile's N41, their 5G ultra capacity, their mid-band 5G spectrum license conundrum is going to be a problem for them in the future. All right, this story, really, really good. Lightreading.com, Mike Dano, big props to him. This is a topic that also a community member and supporter and friend Nikki T has mentioned several times, whether it's on earnings calls or it's to the you know, the Twitter accounts where the T-Mobile executives were unable to really get clarity on this, but it looks like this is going to be hitting a T pretty soon. All right, so there are multiple education entities, whether it's universities or deities and churches, they own the 2.5 gigahertz spectrum licenses in certain places in certain markets. Places like Athens, Georgia, for example, covered in this article from Mike Dano. Those entities own those licenses, and if T-Mobile wants to use them, they have to lease them from them. Of course, T-Mobile would love the opportunity to buy them outright and then be the owner of said licenses, but it looks like there's some legal issues going on right now. So in the instance of this particular, uh, particular license in Georgia from Christian College of Georgia, there is an entity that was willing to make an offer for $5.5 million for that 2.5 gigahertz spectrum license. I think they even named it. It's WND620. That license is potentially going to a company or holdings company or something. Whoever this, this entity is, they want to buy it and get it away from T-Mobile. They're willing to pay more. Okay, so they offered the... I don't know, I guess the Christian College, $5.5 million to license. T-Mobile offered $1 million as a counter after, you know, the owner of the license is leveraging the offer from the other entity. So this is kind of concerning that T-Mobile is trying to lowball their way through these licenses and these other entities are going to outbid them in a, to a certain extent. So the fragmented nature of the EBS BRS, the 2.5 gigahertz, appears to continue to be an issue. So here's the particular location where that license covers for the broadcasting in Athens and Gainesville, Georgia. T-Mobile's trying to shore up this spectrum, and there's an auction up and coming, Spectrum Auction 108. The terms, the rules, the guidelines, we don't know yet. That'll be coming soon, hopefully. We can get those details. But apparently T-Mobile's been trying to take these, these bidders. They've been trying to take them to court. Or no, take the license holders to court over these licenses. So, I mean, this is going to continue to be an issue. Here you could see some of these maps that include the 2.5 gigahertz spectrum license distribution of where, you know, these spectrum licenses are selling and, and what T-Mobile is going to have to buy and where, right? So there's that location in Athens, Georgia. This, this is going to get pretty messy. You know, I don't know if T-Mobile is going to continue to try to downplay this, but if they're getting outbid by random companies and random people, that's definitely not a good look. And I don't like their chances seeing that they're at what um, the offer was for 5.5 million. T-Mobile's trying 1 million. I mean, that's one fifth of the offer, essentially. And then they're trying lawsuits as scare tactics, trying to scare the owners of the licenses like Christian College, you know, threatening them with litigation. I, this is getting bad. It's not a good look. I, I've said it before. I don't like how under this new CEO of T-Mobile, I don't like how they move these types of things, the situation with Dish, Boost Mobile, 3G, all of that stuff. I, I've never been a fan. So this continues to concern me. But now we kind of understand something. I don't think they're all that confident in things working out perfect for them with the rest of this 2.5 gigahertz. Here's a map uh, of where they got some c-band you guys can see these locations you know the, the zero locations clearly they don't need it they have enough capacity there or they have all the 2.5 in those places and then the pink spots are where they bought c-band and then the darker ones some other things there and here's their most recent spectrum auction 110 let me know what you guys think uh what are your thoughts on this story uh sound off in the comment section below you are the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard Links in the description box for everything going on with the channel. Please give this video a like and a share. Subscribe for more. Turn on bell notifications. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.